Okay, today we are going to use the Celestron as the main telescope. That's the Altaz Edge, 8 inch telescope. So I'll start the VNC that will connect me to the Pi. And I'll connect. So here I have it, I can make it a big screen now and use the local scaling, that's correct. Yeah, and I feel like you can even make it a full screen. Yeah, I will, here. Yeah. So now it's full screen, I can close this one. Okay, we're ready to go. So now, uh, the first thing we want to do is to go to the eco you said. Yeah, now even before we go that, let's just pay attention to, to one thing. It, you might not be recording it because it's just below the screen, but on the bottom left it says GPS location. So we'll just keep in mind that it's now getting the location from the GPS, which might not have a fix, just to keep it in mind. Well, I can make it smaller, right? You could make it smaller or make maybe the recording uh, bigger. You, do we see it now? Yeah, now it's inside. GPS location. Right. Okay, let's do it like that, it's okay. I will just keep it in mind because from our experience it might be that the GPS doesn't have a fix and therefore yes. maybe the mount won't know where it is and we might run into trouble. So we'll just keep it in mind because we know we can always switch to to the local you know, manual yes. geographic location. So but now, now it's looking for the GPS. Now it's looking for the GPS. Maybe it got a fix. Maybe we'll try it and, and there'll be a fix. Okay, let's see if there's a fix. Okay. So, to see if there is a fix, where should I go? Go to tools. And ECOS. Tools. ECOS. Right. Now we're going to very carefully look at which profile we have to select. It's going to be a different one. From here? On the left side, there's a drop down. It says select profile. You see here, it says number one, select profile. Yeah. Number two, start and stop ECOS. Number three, connect and disconnect oh, okay. devices. So we're now in the, in the part one where it says select profile. So you go a little bit below it and it, it gives you the list of profiles. And then below that. Yeah, it's now set for 81. But what we want to do is use the 83. Because that's the pi. It's pi 83. No, the reason we choose 83 is because that's the Celestron held as. You see the 81 is the AZGTI yes. in the solar room. 82 is the AZGTI in the museum room. Yeah. And 83 is the Celestron held as. That's, that's the, the telescope that we have to... That's select. the one. Yeah. So maybe we should review before we enter and start, just review to see if the hardware is defined correctly. <coughs> by going to the the icon, there's a plus icon next to it, and then the next one over is to edit the profile. This one? Yeah. And just verify if, if everything is there that is supposed to be there. So you'll see there the mount, no bit, but in the section select devices, you can see the mount is set for Celestron Wi-Fi. That's great. Do you see it? Yeah, here. Yeah. And right below that, it says the main CCD is the ZWO CCD, which is fine. Yes. The guider is another ZWO CCD, so that's great. Below that, we define the focuser, which is set up with the Celestron SCT, which is also fine. And then in the auxiliary port number one, which is on the right, we have the GPS daemon. So yep. that's that. And then at the bottom of this... What is the GPS daemon? That's the software that is talking to the GPS dongle. Okay. Yeah. And in the select telescopes part, we define the Celestron Edge HD, which I think is fine, the 8 inch. Yes. Now the guide scope, we didn't, we didn't define yet. So we might actually have to make a modification there. So let's see if you find it in the list of uh, scopes. And if we don't, which one it was? Do you remember by chance? No, 
or something new because we didn't put it in. Or the out, out, out there? Out there, yeah. Maybe it's in there. Yeah. No. So we should add it, right? Yeah, let's add it. Yeah, add. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to type vendor. Alter. We'll type Alter. A L T A I R? Yes. Okay. Model? Yeah, the model, I don't know it, and also I don't know the other parameter. So we should go to the, to the net to find what it is. Yeah. So I'll stop for a minute. No. And we found that the, the guide scope was missing, and so we added it. So okay. now we should okay, be... Okay, Google, lights on. Okay. Okay, Google, lights on. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so now... Now let's let's start the profile just to test it to see if everything is connecting with the IP addresses and whatnot. So, you see there. So, now that we verified our profile, I don't know if you want to go back and, and review it or we recorded everything already with the profile. Okay. So just continue. Now, wh what I'd like to do is, because this is the first time we're connecting to this Celestron, is to do it here from within the ECOS, just to check if the IP addresses and whatnot is, is configured as we expect it to be. So we can go here to the second section that says to start and stop ECOS, and you see right below it, you see the triangle icon to, to start it. So we'll just try it. So we know that's going to open all kinds of uh, failed. So there are some failures here. So we're going to have to find out what the problem is uh, here. So it complained about a bunch of uh, things. Now, here, Tam. We had some errors, so now we'll go to the Celestron Wi-Fi. And we'll see connecting to 192.168.1.83. Now, I think we might have forgotten to turn the telescope on. That makes sense. Just a hunch. Yeah, we didn't. Maybe we, we should didn't. turn it on. <laughs> so maybe just to get out of it. Just leave this window open, go here, and go to the red, the red icon there to abort this session. Yeah, so we'll turn it on. So maybe both the focuser and the mount don't have power, so that's why we get too loud. Yeah, it's hot. So everything fails by turning it on. Yes. Second thing is to take the cup off, right? Yeah. Yesterday we collected one hour data. Yeah, we were debugging for six hours yeah. trying to see what is the, wrong with the, the cup. Game. What happened with the cup? It's pretty dark outside. Yeah. <laughs> it was a beautiful dark frame. <laughs> <laughs> and we thought we saw a star on the right side. I, I, I saw many stars. <laughs> <laughs> we are the stars. I mean, that's the thing. 
I found it were tears <laughs> instead of sad, but tears. <laughs> okay. okay. So, uh, I think we should try again. Maybe um, do you feel lucky? Yeah. So, <laughs> to go where? The same thing, to start it again. Here. No, you see there's there are three different sections. One that says, one, select profile. Two, start and stop ECOS. And three, do you see those three sections? I'll point at it with the mouse key in so you'll, you'll see it. So here it says one, select profile. Oh, okay, now. Yeah. So this whole thing, all these buttons is, is everything is related to the select profile mm -hmm. part. And two, start and stop ECOS. You see a bunch of buttons here that are related to that. And three, connect and disconnect devices that is, that is related to that. So we are now in this section two because we already checked our profile. So we just like to start it here. Oh, I see. Yeah, so we start it now. This area. Okay. Let's now. see if we get fewer errors. Still a problem with the now we get more focuser. Error. Was the CCD? Yeah. Well, I suggest maybe we will we'll go look first at the Celestron Wi-Fi. Let's see what is going on here. So, activate the alignment subsystem. There's a whole bunch of red messages uh, here. Alignment subsystem. It does seem to be connected to it. So I just want to check here the connection to see if we're talking to the right place. And I think we are. Well, that's the IP address yes. of the Celestron, which, which should be written on the label of, of the mount. So it'll have this IP address. So I think we're in the right place. I just suspect that the problem is this GPS thing that already we, we said it might be a problem. The GPS? Yeah, the GPS doesn't have a fix, therefore there's no coordinates, therefore you're going to get all kinds of alignment. Okay. So uh, take the GPS there. out. Let's okay. do it with the... I'll disconnect and I'll abort this uh, attempt. And this thing with the GPS location, we're going to change it. So the way to do that is we'll go to K-Stars. We're going to go to Settings. We're going to go to Configure K-Stars. I'm going to go here into Indie. And inside here, it's now set for GPS updates K-Stars. And what we'll do is K-Stars will update all devices. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to set it manually. So I'll say apply. I'll say OK. And I'll go here and make sure to select a geographic location. So the way to do that is here in the city filter. Koto de Koto. We'll type Koto. And it'll come up here with, and we'll choose Koto 6. And it's already there. And with that, it's going to put uh, the latitude and the longitude that we, we put manually. So, usually I double click, it doesn't make any difference. So I'll just say OK. Now you can see it updated the label here now. Now it no. says Koto de Casa 8, California, USA. So that has our own uh, coordinates. So now if you go back to the same place, which is Tools and ECOS, and I'll do exactly the same thing. So I'm in the right profile, 83, which is fine. I'll do exactly the same thing. I'll start it. And GPS is detected. I'm going to say no. I don't want it. No, no errors. There was still an error with the focuser, and there's mm -hmm. still an error with the CCD camera. So we still mm -hmm. have to figure out what's wrong with them. But let's, let's go to the Celestron Wi-Fi. So we clicked on it. And it doesn't have the red messages anymore. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you can see the observer location was updated to latitude 3336 and the longitude updated to minus 117. Mm -hmm. So that's looking promising. Just to check here in the site management if, if everything looks like we're expecting. I think it's a little bit bigger. And so... That's the UTC time. So today's date is the 27th of, uh, of December, almost midnight at the Greenwich Meridian. And we have minus eight hours uh, difference with, with that time zone. That's fine. This, this all looks good. Latitude, longitude, and... Uh, so I think the mount is happy. 
The GPS, we don't care about it. It says no fix, but we're not using it anyway, so we don't care. Then the focuser is giving some kind of problem here. It says error, port, port failure, error. Didn't like it. We used this focuser yesterday, I think it worked, well. Right? Yeah. Now, it might be that it's because I might have plugged it into a different USB port than before. There's four holes, so maybe plugged it in a different port as before, and maybe therefore it cannot find it. Certainly possible. So let's let's do here a scan port just to see if it if it can find it. it says no candidate ports found on the system. Now there's one thing here that that happened. The Pi was already on, and we turned the focuser and the mount on afterwards. So we have to start. So maybe the thing to do is to restart the pipe. That's what I would do. Okay. So I'll go here and I'll restart. I'll shut it down completely. So I'll wait for the shutdown. I'll turn the power off. I'll turn it back on with the mount and everything on. So it's good that we're practicing this. Yeah, so oh yeah, oh yeah. Can you imagine I have to do it? Okay, it looks okay. So let's go back in the ECOS and, and start the profile again. So we do have the correct profile, which is 83, Celestron Alt House, and that's fine. Let's just start it. Here. Yeah. Say no. Now, in my opinion, we get a lot fewer errors. Yeah, but the longitude and latitude are zero. Right, that's from the GPS. So the GPS oh. tab yeah. is reporting no fix. Okay. You can so see that here in the, in the status, it says yeah, no fix. no fix. But we don't care because we set it manually mm -hmm. anyways. Although, I have to say, it seems like it, it jumped back in the case start. It jumped back to the GPS because look on the bottom left of the screen. This one? Oh, here. Yeah, it says GPS location. Okay, it doesn't so we say manual. So we, we have to we have to go back there and change that. So will I change it again? Um, GPS? We, the, the place to change this is inside K-Start. So here? We'll go to k you know, a little bit up. Oh, k -Star. Yeah. And go to settings. On the right side, settings. Go to configure K stars. Go to the indie section. And you see here, jump back to GPS updates K stars. Mm -hmm. You know why they jump back? No. I can tell you why. It jumped back because it'll only save these settings when you do file quit from the application. Mm -hmm. If you don't do file quit, it's not going to remember whatever you, mm -hmm. you change. So we'll have to do it again. Put K stars, updates all devices. Uh. No, the same tab that you have that you have here. You see, it says GPS updates K stars. Yeah. Oh. I want to change it to oh, K stars okay. updates yeah. all devices. Now we say apply. We say. Um, Request a bit below the horizon, I'd like to go there anyways. Keep position. Go. Right. Yes? Keep position, that's fine. And now we say OK. Now I will go back into to ECOS, the ECOS tab. And I would stop the profile. Actually, the way to stop it is first you press disconnect on the right side. Yeah. And now you press stop in the section start and stop ECOS. You mean this one? Yeah. We'll stop the profile. Now we'll close this particular window, the ECOS window. 
And now in order to save our setting with our GPS preference, we go to File and Quit. I found that's the only way that I remember the setting. So let's open KSTARS again and verify if now the setting as we wish it to be. So we click on the telescope. This one, right? Yeah. Let's go to settings. We'll go to configure case stars. The second last one. We'll go to the indie tab. And you can see that it's set correctly. Case stars updates all devices. So that looks good. So you're still okay? Yeah, okay. Now I find it still a little bit confusing that it says our GPS location. A little bit strange. Let's let's just make sure that we go to the geographic icon, which is the fourth icon in the toolbar. Yeah? No, the fourth icon in the toolbar. This one? Yeah. Just want to make sure of the location. No, let's let's pick Koto. City filter, Koto. And we pick Cote de Casa 8 on the top right. Yeah, we say OK. Yeah, so now on the bottom left it says Cote de Casa, California, mm. USA. Now I would like to again do file and quit just to make sure that it mm. saves this, this choice that we made. And then again, we'll launch k -Stars just to make sure we, we end up in the same place. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit finicky like this. And it is. It says go to the yeah. Casa 8. And so we know now that manually we're in the right place. So, so now... I have a question. Yeah. You want to switch to the GPS? One solution also we use here because we have a problem with GPS because we are inside the room. It's raining outside. So we just disconnected the GPS. So we'll not have these problems. And uh, the coordinates will be picked up by the case star, I guess. Yeah, manual. Manual. Manual configuration. Okay, next. So let's go back into ECOS and start the profile. See if we can now start it without any error. So we selected the 83, Celestron Altaz, that's fine. Yes, 83. Now one, one thing just to mention this, since we disconnected the GPS, we, we might also need to maybe take it out of the profile, because in the profile it's been defined. We can take it out of there. What if it's there? Does it affect anything in the uh, profile? I, I don't know, because in the profile we said there's a GPS, Whereas, in fact, there is no GPS, so I don't know if that's going to create problems. No, not. If we will, we'll find out. Okay. So we can start ECOS now. Here? Yeah. Huh. I think that's, that's the thing that, because the driver is still active, yeah. and still talking to the serial port, so... I think we should remove it from the profile. But then uh, we have to add it to the profile. So yeah. to it's easy to remove it? Yeah. Okay, let's remove it. It's easy to remove and also easy to add. So, it's no, so let's no remove it first. It. Right. So how to remove it? I would disconnect from the, in, in the section 3 there of ECOS. So that's one. To the right, to yeah. the right. No, no, in the sections. Oh, no. Ecos? No. Here there's three three sections. So this is section mm. two, this is section three. And here we need to disconnect first. And after that we need to stop the profile. So the disconnect? Yeah. And we stop. Yeah. Now it stopped. So now we can edit the profile and take the GPS out. So how are we editing it? 
It's the second button next to the plus. This one. Yeah. So we'll go to the auxiliary port one on the right side. This yeah. one. And we take that out. You have to scroll all the way to the top and select a little uh, hyphen at the top. This one? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And now we save it. So now we said there is no GPS. It isn't there. And we can always add it back if we want. If I want to add it back, then I get, go get to the same point, right? Yeah, you, you, you select the drop down of the auxiliary one yeah. port. No, the auxiliary one port. What is the auxiliary one? The, the one that we just took it out. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. So we'll go here. And we have to find the GPS, which I think might be in other, others. We scroll to the category others and we expand it. It's, it's alphabetically? Yeah. Uh, others, see you. Click on the, on the little arrow next to it to expand it. And now we scroll down until we find the, the GPS uh, D. GPS D. This one? Yeah. That's how you can re-add it. And then if I save it, it would add it. Yeah. But if I don't save it, it would be like before. No, because we didn't save when we take it out, when we took it out. What we want to accomplish here is we want to take it out. I want to take it out. Right. So it's already in? Now you put it back in. So we have to take but it I out. But I didn't save it. Okay, but okay, I'll take it out. But it was in initially and then we, we took it out, but didn't save it and put it back in and again didn't save so it. So I have to go to the minus on the top. Right. Here. Okay, so and now we'll save it and that'll take it out. So now it's gone. So now if we start the profile, let's see if uh, there's no warnings or any kind of messaging. Here? Yeah. So, okay, I think we again we are better now. So let, let's double check the Celestron Wi-Fi tab, the second tab. So that's the mount. So that seems all green. You see here like the kinds of things that it was communicating. I'd like yeah. to check the site management part. Go ahead. So that's in here, site management. Make it a little bit bigger. And you see actually for some reason it didn't get the, the time, the date and the time. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to double check that. It did find the CCD, that's fine. And the other CCD is also fine. And the focuser, it did connect, but it's complaining here about fail to retrieve some focuser parameters. Check the logs. Focuser not calibrated. You must calibrate before uh, mm -hmm. moves are allowed. So it, it thinks it's not calibrated, the focuser. So can we calibrate it or it's, uh, no, it's not, I cannot calibrate it. Uh, I suppose we can, but also I'm, I'm a little concerned about why, why is there no UTC time and no UTC offset. So what I would do, since we also made changes to the profile, I would disconnect and restart the whole uh, okay. thing here. I'll we'll disconnect. Let's get out of here and do file quit. There's a lot of things to check here. So the two things that happened to us that are creating these issues is one, we forgot to turn on the mount initially, the mount in the focuser. And the second thing is the GPS didn't get a fix. So you can see you can easily spend half an hour trying to, to correct for these uh, situations. So I'll go back to the tools ECOS. So that's the 83 Celestron LTS. I think that's fine. Let's just double check if the GPS in fact is gone. And it is. No, that's good. We are in Cota de Casa, California. I think that's fine. Just out of curiosity, is there any place where you can set the date and the time or no? Is that some? Oh. No, I notice here on the top left, it does say the date and the time. 
Ja. Monday, December 27th. But 4, 12 p.m. Is that right or no? It doesn't sound right. No. It's now uh, 5, 21 p.m. So that's kind of odd. For sure that's something we're going to have to check. Maybe if you do it with the phone, it will automatically take the time. Maybe. I'm going to go back to the same place here with the site management. And there's no time and no offset. So there's something... What if I go to Stellamet from here? No. Is it possible that it did? Because it has a phone here. Right. But this all, I mean, the computer has the correct date and the time, because it, it gets it from the internet. But let's try from the phone just to see what, what happens there. Obviously, it would load the wrong one. It's Pi 2. Is that Pi 2? Yeah. Okay, so it find the Pi 2. Celestone, so Alter, it found the whole thing. Yeah. So I can start basically. Yeah. Okay, it found everything fast. So I should go to um, to the eco now, right? Where, right? where I'll find the time in the eco, right? Well, I can check here in the same place just to see if it made any difference, and it did not. Because the latitude, the longitude, and the elevation is not correct. The correct, yeah. Yeah. What if you push time, though? Do anything? Oh, it asks you to put the time. Manually. Yeah, it's okay. Let's put the time manually. Today is uh, 27. Today is the twenty seven five twenty four. Right. So I put it twenty seven five twenty four. Did you put it or did you pick it up? I, ju I just said uh, UTC time, I clicked on that button, and that's what it took, and then it... it uh, so it's automatically did it? Right. Oh, okay. Good. Let's go back here into the ECOS. Oh, maybe in the Indy control panel. Yeah, so now it does happen. So how, how did you suddenly got it from zero to these numbers? What did we do? All I did is in this uh, in this section. Yes. Now I'm not a hundred percent sure where where we actually went to do that. Okay. Time. Set time, no? Set time to now. Let's see what happened. Yeah, it did, no? Well, the dialogue we did was this one. And what I pressed is I pressed here now. Okay. Th that's what I did. So it's good that we found here this menu. There's a yeah. menu time. And either you can do set time to now, you, you can do that here. And it'll update itself from the internet. But apparently you can also do it manually and put some other things here. Better from the internet. And also there's a button there now. But I think with that it fixed it, because now you can go to the Indie control panel 
and you can see now that in the Celestron Wi-Fi and the site management now it does have the time and the offset yep. I think what happened here is we got into a little bit of trouble with the GPS initially so the yep. GPS and we switched to manual and it didn't have the time and whatnot but now we found how to set it so I think the only remaining issue is the, the issue with the focuser calibration uh, that is complaining about so can we try to calibrate the focuser So it says here, focuser is not calibrated. You must calibrate before moves are allowed. Mm -hmm. So there is here a start calibration button. Yeah. Will you just try it? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we start the case start again. That's, that's not good at the <coughs> To start the echo again? Yeah. Just start it. And then now start it? Correction. Connect. Now wait, wait, wait. Let, let's see. We can error message. Error retrieving data from Celestron SCT. Please ensure Celestron SCT controller is powered before the drive. Let's try to connect. To connect? Yeah. Oh. Now, does it give the same kind of warnings? Uh, I don't see any warning now. Will this make screen a little bit bigger? This one? Yeah, I'll do it again. Okay. Yeah, now there are messages. It doesn't complain, it doesn't complain about the calibration anymore. It okay. The range is between Valid. Good, we did it. We try to stop it and restart it to see if there are no zero errors. Okay. I'll do it here. I'll say disconnect. And I'll say stop. And so everything is connected and stopped. So I'll just restart it. See if now it's happening. So just to review everything. Yeah, firmware versions and that's from focusers online with the focus parameter. Focus range is that's the range, it's valid. So that's from focus parameters ready for use. No new parameter. That's great. The Wi Fi, the Celestron Wi Fi mount. When you go to site management, you see, it still didn't get the time, we still have to do something. Else. Yeah. Well, what if you click on time though? Here, time there. Yeah, here. Now it will put it. Yeah, it put it. Okay. Well, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, let's see. So to go with the phone now? Yeah. Okay, so I'm starting the, the phone. Tell you what, I'll... Uh, it's a big file.